There was a corner worker there, but apparently they don't have a fire extinguisher, and Doc Bundy has got to get away from that car. It is burning furiously, as we can see. And this car might be totaled if someone doesn't get there very quickly with a fire extinguisher. They need more than a fire extinguisher now. They're going to need a fire truck. We're showing no yellow flag on the front straightaway, but Jim Sidley, the regular starter, does have his headset on. We could see the gas tank go on this car very shortly. This could be a very dangerous situation as Doc Bundy sprints across the track right in front of Davy Jones. We are watching this car. He's got Bundy a fire has got extinguisher. a extinguisher. Oh, Doc, I don't, I, I don't think you can help it at this point, Doc. Doc Bundy exhibiting extraordinary bravery here as he steps up next to that car, burning furiously, getting a good stream. But I can't believe that that can possibly that can possibly do the trick for him. Where are the fire extinguishers? Where are the fire crews? And we might add, where is a yellow flag as Doc Bundy is standing out on the racetrack on the back side, the 1,300-foot Congress Avenue straightaway, fighting this furious fire, trying desperately to save his Corvette. At this point, all he wants to do is we see fire trucks now arriving. At this point, all Doc wants to do is try to save as much as he can on the car. And a furious Doc Bundy is gesturing at the crews. They're coming out with what looked like more handheld fire extinguishers. I'm not sure that's going to do it. You can see the plume of smoke rising above the auditorium complex that is the centerpiece of this Palm Beach race course. And the flames continue to skyrocket out of the number 52 Corvette. Oh, my. I think handheld fire extinguishers aren't going to be able to do the trick. Huge, acrid smoke billowing up from the back of the car. And here is what the oncoming cars will see. Smoke clouding the car, burning furiously up against the right side wall, and men walking around in that cloud of smoke. A very dangerous situation, and the yellow flag is now being shown on the front straightaway, so we have a full course caution situation. We expect to see the pace car make its way out onto the racetrack and will take the field in tow as they continue to fight the fire. When Doc Bundy put this shirt on this morning as his T-shirt, he didn't know how prophetic it would be. It is not a laughing matter, Doc. We had to run you down over here where they pitted all the GTP cars this weekend. Obviously, it's a very frustrating situation. Well, it's, it, it, it's more than frustrating because I just lost my child today. You know, uh, the reactions was way too slow, and, and I wonder how some of the officials would feel right now had I been laying on the track burning and watching that, rather than running over there with some fire extinguishers and reacting to it. We're trying to react to this. We've talked to IMSA. They say they sent the, the individual members out, the corner workers. They didn't respond. They wouldn't respond, and then they sent the fire truck out, and it did respond. But again, why didn't they respond? They're here to do a job. That's part of their job. If they don't want to do it, don't volunteer. Exactly. You know, there was, there was questions asked to me, was I afraid of it exploding? Gary, these are fuel cells inside these systems. They're explosion. They're, they're, they protect you from explosion. But you've got to get to the root of the fire. Every, anybody that has, deals with fire knows you've got to get into it. All you have to do is get up there with an extinguisher and get on the fire. I want to go back to the first comment you said when you lost your child today. Race drivers have a special feeling for that race car, and that was like your kid out there going up in flames. Absolutely. It's, you know, that, that's our newest car, and it's been a wonderful little car so far. And, you know, it was only a matter of time when we got all of our ingredients together, and it would turn from just a, a, a good, fast car to a dominant car. Doc, we thank you for taking the time to come out, collect your thoughts, and visit with us, and we'll follow up on this story as to why the response time was not quicker. Thank you, Gary. We'll be back.